Hello and welcome to Math Molecules. In this tutorial, we would learn the cubic identities a plus b the whole cube, a cube plus b cube, a minus b the whole cube and a cube minus b cube. Let's prove them one by one. So the first one we are going to try out is a plus b the whole cube. a plus b the whole cube. I'm going to split it as a plus b into a plus b the whole square. Now a plus b I will write as such and let me expand a plus b the whole square using the identity which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. And then we get a into, so I'm going to multiply the first term with this entire expression. a into a square plus 2ab plus b square plus b plus b into a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let's multiply them one by one. a into a square is a cube. A into 2ab is 2a square b plus a into b square is ab square. Then again we get b into a square which I write as a square b plus 2ab square plus b into b square is b cube. Now let's combine the like terms a cube plus 2a square b and a square b. I get 3a square b. And then I have ab square plus 2ab square. I get plus 3ab square. And then I'm left with plus b cube. So thus I get this identity a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. I can also rewrite it. First I will collect the cube terms a cube plus b cube and in these two terms if you see what is common 3ab is a common factor and if I take it out I am left with 3ab into a plus b. So any one of these I can use it for my expansion of a plus b the whole cube. So a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. I can use either this or this based upon the application. Okay, If the question, it depends on the question what is given to you, you can apply any of these that we would cover in the next video where I would be covering the application of these cubic identities. Now moving on to the next one. We have to find out what is a cube plus b cube. Now we already learned that a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. I'm just flipping this equation and writing it the other way around. a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b equal to a plus b the whole cube. We are looking for a cube plus b cube here, right? Now I will retain only a cube plus b cube on the left hand side for which I have to find the solution and move the rest. This entire term is going to be moved to the right hand side. So by transposition plus 3ab would become minus. The sign would change. a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. So thus we got this identity a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. There is another way of writing this identity as well. How can we derive that from this one? 
if I take a plus b as a common term in the entire expression, then I am left with a plus b the whole square minus 3ab. Now again, I will expand it here a plus b into a square plus 2ab plus b square minus 3ab. Now I will get here a plus b into a square 2ab minus 3ab. If you see these two terms, it becomes minus ab plus b square. So this is a cube plus b cube. So let's sum this up a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b or the other formula what we could write here is a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. In the same way, we can also prove the identity a minus b the whole cube. a minus b the whole cube is equal to a minus b into a minus b the whole square equal to a minus b into a square minus 2ab plus b square. The same way what we did for a plus b the whole cube a square minus 2ab plus b square minus b into a square minus 2ab plus b square. We will see only the change of signs in this. a cube minus 2a square b plus ab square minus a square b plus 2ab square minus b cube. Thus, we would get a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So, this is how we get the identity here. We can also rewrite this identity just the way we did for the previous one. a cube minus b cube and I would take, if I take minus 3ab as the common term, then I am left with a minus b inside. So, this is how my identity would look like in two ways. So, I can write it here a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. The only difference if you see between a plus b the whole cube is the change of signs a cube here it has become minus and here also minus and a minus b remains inside. Now let's go ahead and find out what is a cube minus b cube. So this is what I'm supposed to find out. So let me flip and write the previous equation of a minus b the whole cube which was a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. This is what we had found a minus b, the whole cube was. I'm just flipping this equation and I have to find out what is a cube minus b cube. So rest of the things I would move to the other side of the equation a minus b the whole cube, this minus when I move to the other side of the equation it becomes plus 3ab into a minus b. Thus we have a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b the whole cube plus 3ab into a minus b. Or the other way of writing it would be equal to if I take a minus b 
as the common term outside, then I am left with a minus b the whole square plus 3ab. And when I expand this, I would get a minus b into a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 3ab. Now it becomes a minus b into a square plus 3ab minus 2ab will give us plus ab plus b square. So that is a cube minus b cube for us. So these are the cubic identities which we covered so far. The examples would be covered in the next tutorial.